go easy on me, go easy, go easy. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Garrett here at Eurovision Ireland and I'm at Eurovision in concert here in Amsterdam and look who I managed to bump into. It's possibly the man who is rocking the glasses look at Eurovision this year and as I say that my cameraman Andrew just puts on his own glasses. Yeah. I am with the one, the only, the fabulous man from Cyprus and he's going to kill me if I don't pronounce his name correctly, Mr. John Karianis. Close. <laughs> oh no! John. Yeah. John, welcome to Eurovision 2015. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's great to be here. Now, I know that in the the Cypriot national selection, you had Christopher Bjorkman, and he was putting you all through your paces with how to be interviewed at these events. One of his favourite questions to ask people was. What's your favourite colour? So I'm going to ask you the really tough question. What's your favourite colour, John, and why? Uh, my favourite colour is uh, purple. And uh, the reason for that is because it just expresses my feelings. You know, when I play music, when I sing, I kind of feel colours, you know? Okay. When, when, a, when a love song comes on, it's like I feel reddish, red colors you know purple colors like that and it, it just inspires me oh you learned so well from Krista Bjorkman <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that's an A plus that was a thank brilliant you. color answer thank you now you have a wonderful song this year thank you very much now, would you like to introduce your song to everybody out there you want to sing it oh, oh. if you want to sing a little bit of it fantastic <laughs> hey okay uh, my song's called one thing I should have done and it goes a bit like this. I always did everything for you. I gave you my heart, you gave me yours too. You'd make me feel I was really someone. But there's one thing I should have done. Yay! We say in Ireland, Vulabus, which means fantastic. Well done. Thank you. So, I want you to say that back to me now. Oh, can you say it again? Vulabus. Vulabus. Okay, that was very good. Better than my pronunciation of your surname. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, John, I saw the fantastic dance remix that you did for your video. I, I was a little bit worried for your safety yeah. because they had you what looked like in the middle of the streets of Oxford London Street, and yeah. Oxford. Were you in the middle of the traffic? <laughs> Yes, I was. <laughs> I know, lots of people came up to me and said, oh my god, that looks dangerous, you know? But actually, actually, there's a sidewalk in the middle of the street, so it wasn't that dangerous, but you can't see that in the video, can you? I actually know the, your delegation, and I sent them a message going, are you trying to kill John before he gets... And look, he's smiling at me over there. I, I sent them a message going, brilliant remix, but don't kill him before he gets to Vienna, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I think your song is... A, it's a very emotional song. It is. And what was... When you first heard the song, what did it sort of mean to you, or what, what, what emotions did it bring out in you? Um, actually, that's a kind of a good question because uh, the song was written for me. I didn't go there and I heard the song, you know. I went to London, uh, met Mike, we chatted for a day, you know. I spent a day with him, uh, ex expressed some opinions about music and uh, songs we like. And then just chatted about my life and past experiences, relationships and stuff like that. And I left, went to London and do the tourist yes. things you do in London, you know, <laughs> shopping and do everything. And then I went back to his studio and he played me the song. I was like, oh my God, I can so relate to this. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's, it's not every day when you get such a well-known songwriter like him writing a song specifically for you yeah. does that put pressure on you to make sure that you do a good performance for him since he's done this for you yeah yeah actually uh, he called me when I was in Cyprus and I was all nervous and stuff like that and I went to London I was expecting like a guy you know in a suit a really serious guy and I see Mike in outside of him castle his studio and uh, he's wearing a hat 
and a t-shirt says soul music with his cigarette. And I was like, wow, Hi, how are you? And then we went for a, went for a the pint, actually. Yeah, he was trying to show me around and he said, let's go to Studio 4. I was like, where's Studio 4? And he, he took us to a pub. <laughs> I like his style. Is he Irish by any chance? <laughs> no, he's actually he's half Cypriot, half British. Okay. Oh, that's almost as good as Irish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, John, the important things, okay? You are performing in semi-final. Number two. With Ireland? Yep. And what song are you performing or place you're performing in? Uh, I think it's 15. It's 15? It's 15, yeah. And the name of your song again? Is One Thing I Should Have Done. And one thing you should do is support my song, guys. What we're trying to See do... See what I did there? Uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> what we're trying to do, John, is there's three islands in that semi-final. Yep. There's Cyprus, Malta and Ireland. So we're doing this thing called Island Solidarity. Great. Okay, so Sounds we want amazing. yes, we want to have the three three islands get through to the final. So if people want to find out more about you, where can they go to? Uh, they can go on my website, which is johncarayanis.com, or my Facebook page, which is johncarayanis, or my Instagram, which is johncarayanis. <laughs> Are you seeing a pattern here, people? <laughs> I use my name. I think that's the right thing to do. And it's John Carianis. Nice. Better better than before. <laughs> I try. You see, I tried to learn. John, the very best of luck. We will Thank be you. there supporting you and Team Cyprus. And um, we have a very strong feeling we're going to see you in the final. I hope your strong feeling is correct. <laughs> I predicted Conchita would win last year. She won. I predict you're in the final. You're going to be in the final. Oh, I hope you're right then. I'll put money on it, okay? I'm going to put money on it now. Okay. Okay. Five pounds? <laughs> Ten euro. Oh. Deal? Deal. Okay. You saw it, everybody. So, everybody, John Carianis from Cyprus, semi final two. Make sure to vote for him. Thank you, John. Thank you.